Apparently, I just butt dialed someone. Don't know how that happened as soon as I started recording. As this train doesn't want to seem to get rolling. But hey there, it is Friday, August 2nd. 5.58 p.m. is the time, and I'm here at Young Station. And the train has finally started, finally <laughs> decided to depart the station. I say that as if it's a sentient being. I'm aware I probably look like a massive goofball wearing my sunglasses indoors. But so be it. In this one, we're just going to head outside and take a casual stroll through the Yorkville neighborhood. I live streamed through Yorkville around this time a week ago. cool atmosphere. Although this weekend is a long weekend. And I'm coming out of this side of the station as I wanted to check out what the sidewalk and bike lane situation is like along Bloor Street East just up ahead here. bike by last night. And they had this temporary bike lane configured. I guess this is the bike lane here. But I noticed there were a number of people walking in it. big Nike store is moving into that space and just up above is where Nordstrom Rack used to be. is the intersection of Young and Bloor. There's a look southbound Young Street. Thank you. 
got signs over there. Point cyclists into their new temporary bike lane. And there's a look up at the status of One Bloor West. That's the tower going up just on the right. So this is north up Young Street. What I think I'll do is I'll head west along Yorkville Avenue. And I'll wander into Yorkville Village. It feels a little less busy than it was a week ago. Temperature-wise, it's a breezy 28 degrees Celsius. It's a really good bar right over there. Called the Pilot. Definitely got that Friday on the long weekend vibe. There's the reference library. So I'll go left here at Yorkville Avenue. There's a new Starbucks that's moved in. And it's back towards the sun. And the Yorkville neighborhood is a former village in the city. It's bounded roughly by Bloor Street, just to the south of here. Davenport Road, which is to the north. Avenue Road, which is to the west of here. And to the east, Young Street, which I just turned off of. There has been a ton of new towers going up in Yorkville. These ones forming part of the Young Street High Rise Corridor. On the right is a small park called Town Hall Square. And back when Yorkville was its own town, this is where their town hall was. It looks like it was annexed in 1883. This library branch dates back to 1907. There's an interesting spot to park your bike. Eastern Sound Studio was a renowned Yorkville recording studio. It was founded back in 1959. And here, 
you'll find the Four Seasons as I trip on a tile, hotel and residences. That building, I thought I was in zoom mode, in the center of the shot, way off in the distance, is the old Four Seasons. That's been since converted into a residence. different from the Sonder I stayed at in London a few weeks back. There's one Blur West. That'll be topping out at over a thousand feet tall. bar on the right. This is Bay Street I'm crossing. Sun is pretty strong. There's where Flo's Diner used to be. It's a long time staple of the neighborhood that shut down not too long ago. summertime, the city pedest pedestrianizes this stretch of Belair Street. This is not something the city does enough of. It's also a street in the St. Lawrence neighborhood. Right next to the St. Lawrence Market that's pedestrianized. That's about as long as this pedestrianized stretch. Something they certainly do a little better in Montreal. Very sunny. It's not uncommon to see a lot of supercars in this neighborhood. Balenciaga. I suspect a lot of people have skipped town for the long weekend. There's a Chanel. There's a supercar sighting.
Does that count? Lamborghini SUV? This street is Hazleton. Lane into the heart of Yorkville Village. There's the Oxley. Just suggest you see people are less. And we're about to check out an ancient rock of all things. But all these places are super expensive. There's a bar right around the corner called Hemingway's. It's reasonably priced, all things considered. Avenue Road, just off to the west. I'm amazed at how quiet it is here. This rock here is 650 tons and it's from an ancient mountain range and it took 20 flatbed trucks to bring it in. And it's over a billion years old. And this is where Joni Mitchell's big yellow taxi was based on. They paved paradise and put up a parking lot. Was this very spot. What is going on over there? All right. Some kind of promotion. I just want to see if there's anything more to it than that. I want to stop there and put my camera right at them. There's the new Happy Feet Spa.
this is probably one of my most recorded neighborhoods on this channel. I would say it's in the top five. recorded through here more than my own neighborhood, Young and Eglinton. I got an idea here. It's like a laneway I've been meaning to check out that I haven't yet got around to. There's that close stretch of the lair. There's a laneway called the Mayfair, the Mayfair Muse, right next to the doomed Cumberland Terrace shopping center across the street. But I think we'll link us down to Bloor Street. Sometimes the end on Bloor is closed off due to construction. Do it. I should be able to make a right at the end of this. On the other side of Holt Renfrew, a large Canadian luxury department store. Take me down to Bloor. Bolt run through shipping and receiving. Good luck backing a truck into any of these loading docks. Our plans to eventually tear down and rebuild, maybe it's not rebuild, but build condos where the Cumberland Terrace is here on the left. And that configuration makes a little more sense for trucks to load stuff into. If I said it smelled fresh through here. It's 
Aritzia on the right, and we are at Bloor Street. There's Young and Bloor near where I started. is just to keep going west to Bedford Road and then I'm gonna pop into the subway station there. Well true. across the street where the gap used to be. My mind is already starting to think about dinner. Which is where I'm heading to right after this. Let's look southbound Bay Street. is what you would call in London a high street. Purples. Looks like there's a building permit and construction going on where pottery barn. We are back. I just had a bit of a noob moment. I looked down at my camera and it said memory card full. I had to clear a few older videos off of it. I just sat down here in front of the old pottery barn. And I was just commenting. I'm not sure if that made it onto the previous video or not. But I'm curious to see what the new tenant transforms the space into and if they put a new facade in front of the building. But we're on Bloor Street West, just west of Belair Street. I'm going to continue on to St. George Station. Uh, 
Oh, here's another one. Tiffany, Louis Vuitton. Feels like being in an airport terminal. Brooks Brothers store closing. That was a Club Monaco for the longest time. Looks like Brooks Brothers didn't last too long. Maybe that was the intention. Right here is the Church of the Redeemer. And this is Avenue Road. Starting to rock some fresh new bike lanes. They're going to be going all the way up to Davenport. Sadly, it was in this area where a cyclist lost her life last week. And there was a memorial ride on her behalf a few That's nights ago, time. right at 6 p.m. along this stretch. And there was a very good turnout for that. One thing to learn how to make. A contractor had illegally placed a bin in the bike lanes and she was going around it from what I've heard and was hit by a construction vehicle There's some geniuses going the wrong way the Royal Ontario Museum across the street. Varsity Stadium right next to Varsity Arena across the street. The 
Looks like they're holding football practice. Road is closed. I believe going westbound between here and Spadina. Thank you. You could hop on to either line one or line two from the station. I'll be going on line two. And I hope you enjoyed this kind of sleepy Friday late afternoon walk through the Yorkville neighborhood on the long weekend. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support what I do on YouTube, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides, and there is a super thanks button appearing down below if you wish to say thanks that way. And it looks like we are one minute away from my chariot. <laughs>